Hello people of the internet, my name is Ghost, and welcome to a game called The Man From The Window. Now basically, this is a game made by Z Z Technician. Now, they make all sorts of games and stuff, but I figured we might as well give this one a try because this seems to be the most popular game from them, I believe. Now, this game is supposed to talk about how you're supposed to like make the right choices and stuff, or face the consequences from the man from the window. Basically, that's that's what that's that's what whole thing is like. That's literally it. Now, before we do get started, if it's your first time here on the channel and you want to see me play more games and stuff, be sure to hit the subscribe button that is right underneath this video and be part of the Ghost Army and like the video too as well so we can keep the channel running and things. But well, anyways, like I always say, let's get into it. Okay, so I guess guess we start starting out with the cutscene because you know it told me not to. Oh my lord. I ain't gonna say it, I ain't gonna say it, but I think Judy Hopps has some competition. I'm sorry. I, I'm really sorry. Man. Okay, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I, I'll stop, I'll stop actually. But I'm just saying, what were they thinking when they... Oh my stars, I am tired today. Ooh, what a long day, man. Seems like I keep getting home later and later. But that's just how it is sometimes. I ain't giving up. Also, I don't know why I'm giving giving in the southern accent. Look, they don't really they kinda have that that black mother accent, you know. But that ain't just how it is sometimes. I ain't giving up. I'd better try and get sleep. I'm gonna need it to be up I'm gonna need gonna need to be up early, bright and early to cook breakfast for the little one. So she works at a bakery, but ooh, I I can I wonder why you work at a bakery. Cause you know you got all that. Okay, I'm sorry. She has a kid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mama, Mama, Junior. What on earth are you doing up this late? You know you have school tomorrow. But Mama, the man from the book's gonna get me. Huh? What man? What book? The man in my storybook. See? And there it is, the man from the window. The man, the man from the window. Give, give it here. Okay, so this is this is this is where we go. This is where we're gonna have to start reading. I'm assuming. Like, I gonna like I've seen some things about this game. Like, not most of it. All I know is you gotta make choices, and it comes from this book. So, let me get my narrator voice going, and we'll be on our way. The man from the window is quite the odd fellow, with his big beady eyes and sunken nose why he just wants to say hello. As he smiles from ear to ear, the man wanders the quiet night. Through alleys and backyards he goes, making very sure to stay out of sight. He silently peers through windows searching for one thing and one thing only. A new friend is all he wants for the man is very, very lonely, just like me. Once you hear his tap, tap, tapping at the window, you'll know he's found a new friend to play. For now, you have only five minutes before, before he takes you away. But do not fear, for staying in one place is the man's only peeve. Keep him at bay for another five minutes and he'll leave. The man has no use for trinkets or token. He will now check under the place where bread is broken. Also, I gotta, I gotta give you, a, give you guys a quick reminder. But this is, this is where we gotta keep an eye on things because, yeah. So, the man is in his element, doing what he does best. Next, he will look under the place where you often rest. So the bed, so table, bed. The man indeed is very, very bold. Soon, he will check inside the place, which is cold. So fridge, table, bed, fridge. The man will walk, then he will lurch. The place under the mirrors is where he will search. So bathroom, mirror. The man has no friends, no family, no son, and no daughter. Next, he will check the place, which holds water. And I think, and I think that's the end of the story. Let me put my microphone down. So... 
I don't know if I should write this down. So, table, bed, fridge, bathroom. Okay, so, I think we know, I think we know what we're doing. Like, I'm sorry people, but I gotta be completely honest with you. I know a lot about this game, and I'm just trying to like, you know, I just want to see where things go for me to see if I can do a first try or not. Now you know. Junior, this is just one of those scary books people write. You're too young to be reading this kind of stuff. It'll scare your little mind half to death. But mama, I saw him outside. I really did. Kid, kid, kid. Let me just tell you one thing. You're just a kid. And you know what you know what this called it's called? Imagination. Like just because you read a book from R.L. Stein doesn't mean he's real, you know? Well, R.L. Stein is real, but do you really think there's such thing as Horrorland or Slappy the Clown or all those sorts of stuff? No, it's all in your head. Like, someday you're gonna grow up and realize that it's all in your freaking thin head. It's just the book, sweetie. It ain't real. Now get that cotton tail off the bed right now. At this rate, you won't want to wake up in the. Huh? Oh. He's already here. It's him. He's out there. Calm down. Calm, wait, calm, calm down, Junior. Whatever is out there, I'm pretty sure it ain't a monster. Or maybe it's just Uber Eats trying to deliver your food, but you have your door locked and stuff, so they figured you might as well just deliver it to you in the window. And they aggressive with it. Junior? Yes? Where'd you get this book from? It was on the table when I got home from school. You got it for me, right? Do you really think she has the time to go down to Barnes and Nobles just to get you a freaking book about some person who's going to be tapping on your window and probably committing home evasion and child abduction? No. Oh dear lord, this ain't good. Okay, so we can move now and things, but now we we know we know what we're, we know what we're doing now. So I'm gonna give you guys give I'll give you guys a quick heads up. Like, look around you. What do you see? You see chairs? You see this thing? Well, there's this bakery. It's a box of donuts I brought back from my job. Open the box. I better take my keys with me. Okay, so basically, we're gonna we're gonna need this to lock the keys. But we know we know what we're doing and stuff. So yeah, I'm honestly sorry, guys. Like I should have been more honest with you, but I just I just wanted to play this game for myself. This couch is nice and sturdy. I could probably push it in front of the door. Should I? It'll take about two minutes. Well, it might take a bit more if my kid could help me out. Yeah, let's let's move it. Yeah, I did. I did lock the door, right? Oh, yep. Yeah, that's the man from the window. He think he's slick. He think he's something. Well, nope. That's because I mean, my kid are running. Did we lock it? Okay, that's yeah, locked. So we, we, we know what we're doing. So Junior, come with me. Yeah. Okay. Look, man. I don't wanna I don't want I don't want you to die. Well, maybe I do, but you're gonna have to go in, you're gonna go under the mirror. The the cabinet sink is big enough for Junior to hide. Yeah. Hide Junior under the desk. No under the sink cabinet. Junior, Mama needs you to hide under the sink for a few minutes. Don't come out until I say so, all right? I'm scared. Don't be. We'll be all right. Will we? Maybe. Now let's lock this dang door and we'll be on our way. And now it's time for us to hide in this oddly looking bathtub. And I think just like that, we have the perfect run. I'm praying. I'm praying. I'm praying to the to the to the YouTube that I no I'm praying to myself that I get a good run first try. It was exactly two a.m. when the man approached the front door. The door had been locked. The man spent only thirty seconds ripping the lock apart. He better he better pay for that lock because you know Home Depot might have some good doors and stuff. But look, if I gotta get gotta get a new key, you're paying for that key, okay? A large and heavy couch had been pushed in front of the door. It took the man an entire minute to break through the barricaded door. Yeah, he's actually going to pay for all that. I'm just going to say, you know. The time was 2.01 a.m. 
Hey, get the donuts. The man spotted a box of donuts sitting on the table. I'm gonna say, my kid doesn't need all those donuts. Like, he needs to eat, he needs to eat more healthier anyways. The man took an entire minute to eat them all. Wait, wait, how? It was now 2.02 a.m. Look, I'm just gonna say, at least drink, drink some water with that because, you know, you can't be eating all that, you know, all those donuts and stuff. Like, what if you choke and stuff? Like, at least get some water to wash it down. Like, yeah. The man looked under the table. But he found nothing. Also, that, that's, what type of paper towels are those? That's gonna be some, uh, Tide or something? I don't know. The time was now 2.03 a.m. Wait, what? Oh, the bedroom door had been locked. The man spent 30 seconds ripping the bedroom door lock off. Like I'm saying, you better pay for that stuff, dude, because, you know, that stuff ain't cheap. Like, just because Home Depot or Lowe's might have it, but you're still going to pay for it, okay? Like, I'll, I'll, I want it with cash, not card, okay? The man locked... Un the man looked under the bed, but he found nothing. I bet, I bet he feels real stupid. The time was now 2.04. Ooh. I think we did the perfect run. The man looked inside the fridge, but he found nothing. The time was now 2.05 a.m. The man's time was up, and he knew it, so as quickly as he arrived, the man from the window left. So you, are you not going to pay me back for all those broken locks that you broke, dude? Like, come on, man. Like, that's like a lot of money. Like, you, you, better, you better have it by next week. That's all I'm going to say. But anyways, we got the perfect run. Oh, my Lord. But anyways, yeah, we got the perfect run. First try. Mama, is he gone? But man, that's a lot of rabbit meat right there. He he's gone. Don't worry. Hooray! I knew you could do it. Oh no! What? Mama, he ate all the donuts. I, I wanted one. Oh my gosh, Junior! You almost got abducted, and all you care about are some freaking white powder donuts. Like I could get you some another time. Like. Right now, it's literally two in the morning. It, uh, oh my goodness, child. Don't scare me like that. I'll bring you some from work tomorrow, okay? Okay. And Junior? Huh? No more curse books, all right? I ain't up to dealing with that again. But what are we going to do about the woman from the door? The who? <laughs> Just kidding. Junior, listen here. I literally stood up just to save your gosh darn life, and this is how you this is how you how you wanna joke around like this? Like Ooh, you're lucky I didn't let him take you because I'm thinking about doing it. What am I gonna do with you, huh? And that was the man from the window. As you, as you can see, we got the we got the gold star for completion and things. But now, I, I want you guys to see what happens if we fail, so let's get back into it. First of all, we're, we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to start off with the junior and stuff, so he's going to have to hide in the under the mirror because that's, that's where he's going to first search. And there we go. And now, time for... The bad ending, one. It was exactly 2 a.m. when the man approached the front door. The door was left unlocked and unbarred, so he walked straight in. Yeah. He's just taking his time, like, come on, man. You really think you, you, you can see right there? How can you not see that? Mm, that rabbit meat, man. The man looked under the sink. The man has found his new friend. And that's like, just like that, we get the bad ending, the first one. And the police have been involved, wow. 
Yeah. He has to be nearby still. Ain't no way they've gotten this far quick. I'll go find it myself if I have to. I ain't lying. The man broke it and just took him. I couldn't stop him. Please, someone, just find him. Please. That's honestly just sad, to be honest. But hey, it's not my problem. I'm joking, I'm joking. Okay, so now it's time we get the other ending where Mama Rabbit basically gets captured. Like, it might take a while, but yeah. Yeah, how do you not see me? The man looked under the sink. But how do you not see all that rabbit meat hiding on top of that thing? Like, but he found nothing. Okay, I think this is where it is now. It was now 201. Why did you make a... He made a 360 turn. Oh, wow, yeah. The man looked inside the wash tub. The man has found his new friend. But yeah, how do you not... And there's vehicles outside. Oh, yeah. Your mom's gone, dude. Also, I'm sorry if you guys hear anything in the in, outside. You know people these days. Mama! The man is gone. You can come out now. Really? He's gone. Mama? You can stop hiding. Please? Nah, man. That's honestly sad. But, well, anyways... That was the man from the window, and honestly, in my opinion, despite it being a short game, I think it was actually kind of good. Like, I would actually be so I would actually want to try to try to play the second one too now, because you know, now it kind of caught my interest, and so I figured we might as well give it a try and things. But in my opinion, I think Z Technician makes some good games, and maybe I'll maybe I'll, maybe I'll see what else what else he has in store because there are more games in, on itch.io which I might go check out and things. So, yeah. Keep in, keep in mind that we might be doing more Zed Technician games on the channel, if you guys really enjoy them that much. But well, anyways, before we do end it off here, I'm just going to say, like, if it's your first time here on the channel and you want to see me play more games and stuff, be sure to hit the subscribe button, that's right underneath this video, be a part of the Ghost Army and stuff. And also, if you enjoyed this video as well, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, you know, because it really supports the channel and things, and it keeps me more motivated. But, well, anyways, that's all I really have time for today, and like I always say... Stay fresh, and laters.